नमस्कार राय जिलियन रेखा शर्मा फैकल्टी ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड मैथोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट मशीन एंड मटीरियल गुरु जयंती विद्यापीठ पुलिस यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर प्रश्नों के दिनों एपिटेन क्लास सेशन नेम इज पैटर्न मेकिंग टर्मिनोलॉजी व्हाट इज टर्मिनोलॉजी दीस आर सम स्पेसिफिक वर्ड्स और नेम्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड इन अ स्पेसिफिक सब्जेक्ट सो we have used we have to use some specific words only in pattern making or drafting so today we will learn about the terminology of pattern making so start with a first is arm side uh, arm side means a posh word for the arm hold of a garment where you would attach the sleeve so arm side is the a mode of a garment where you have to attach the sleeve portion second is alter to change or resize a pattern or garment to fit a specific individual now block a block is a basic pattern usually made from thin brown cardboard or Brown paper. This is a starting point for other patterns to be drafting of and develop from form. So we can make different different variation with this block. This is a basic for developing any dress bodies. The section of a pattern which runs from the shoulder point to the waist line. This is the section which run from a shoulder point to the waist line. It called bodies. Center front pattern should always be marked with CF means center front to indicate where the center front is. The center uh, the center front line is also outlined on the. Many clean when using mullahs. When we using mullahs or draping, uh, the center front line of is also outlined or marked on the many clean or on the dummy as well as center back. Patterns should always be marked with center back. Uh, short form is CB. It's the CB to indicate where the center back. Is the center back line is sometimes outlined on the many green or the main when we using mullahs or draping or taking measurement from the dummy. Doubt. What is doubt? A V-shaped section of the pattern is taken away to adjust sizing and allow fullness and shape in certain areas. So this can be created for specific fit or design elements. Uh, most commonly used uh, are bust darts. Ease. Correctly measuring the sleeve pattern and arm size is vital for easing the sleeve to fit the garment. Fold line. Some patterns are marked with cut on fold, which basically means you must fold your fabric in half and line up with your pattern before cutting. So this is to make sure the pattern can be cut without a center seam. We can only put a mark of on fold or fold fold on our pattern, and we cut it in our on our fabric with on fold. So our pattern is without see or without fold or without a center seam, but we have to cut our fabric with the fold or with the center seam if we have marked on our pattern as well as now green line, the direction of the fabric. This shoulder, uh, this should be indicated using arrows on the pattern. This can be indicated on the pattern. If our green line is straight, we have to indicate 
like this and uh, if our green line is biased we have to indicate on our feedback paper pattern like this and if our green line is horizontal we have to put the sign of like this on our pattern hip line the hip line is sometimes marked on patterns to show where the garment should be at the hip so uh, where the garment should reach the hip we have to mark a line which called hip line in seam uh, men's waist to ankle measurement called in seam sometimes it's called inside leg also what is master pattern the main pattern for a garment this is the main pattern for a specific garment usually a simple pattern if the pattern needs to be altered or after fittings you would draft of the master to create further patterns that can be adapted so master patterns are used as the starting point of our dresses what is mulas sometimes referred to as cutting on the stand mulas is a fashion term for creating a pattern on the mannequin shaping to fit including darts usually with masking tape and calico fabric it is then taken off the mannequin and used as a master pattern so it called mulas now notches notches are usually present on the pattern block or on master pattern for the garment so they should be transferred to all subsequent uh, patterns that have been drafted from the original notches are uh, there to show you where uh, you are sewing where the seam allowances is where to add a dart and etc etc so where we have to sew the garment we have to, we have to add seam allowance in the garment and where we have to add a dart or tucks or a space tucks we have to use notches in the paper pattern this uh, notch are uh, indicate us to where we have to start the sewing and where we have to end the sewing we have to patch the pocket where we have to uh, take seam allowance or where we have to add a dart in our garment placket the v shaped opening at the end of a sleeve is called uh, placket which uh, there is there the cup is attached plate a fold in the fabric which provides decorative or functional fullness and shape to the garment it is called pleat right side the right side of the fabric is usually of better standard than the other side it is also might have a design or pattern on it so which is did given seam allowance a measured line of fabric between a stitch line and the edge called seam allowance this is important because you lose some fabric once the garment is stitched stitched always check to see if the pattern you are working from include seam allowance in my experience fashion patterns include seam allowance and costume patterns do not so here we have, we have to know fashion patterns always include seam allowances and the cost, costume patterns do not add the seam allowance on the paper pattern now salvage the edge of the fabric which generally does not fray which does not fray called salvage you can usually recognize this edge easily on the fabrics uh, side seam patterns are often marked with ss meaning side seam of the garment tracing wheel a spike wheel with a handle it is used to mark patterns on both sides to save the time view some patterns may have a selection of different variation of the same garment so each one depicting a different angle so each variation of a garment of a pattern 
is called a view. Weft. The crosswise threads on a loom that are passed over and under the warp threads to make the fabric. To make fabric, fabric we have done uh, weaving. In and in the weaving process, we have two types of thread. First is weft, and second is warp. So the weft thread is the crosswise thread on the loom, uh, and the, these threads are passed over and under the warp threads to make the fabrics. The run vertical from the salvage has little to no stretch. This is a little to no stretch. And uh, about the warp, the warp threads uh, on a uh, loom over and under which other threads uh, like the, uh, sorry, the web are passed to make fabric. So runs parallel to the salvage has a fair amount of stretch. The warp thread have fair amount of stretch. Waistline. The waistline is usually marked on patterns to show where the garment should reach the waist. So we have to put a line on the pattern where the garment should reach the waist. The waist is the smallest part of the torso. So uh, wrong side. The wrong side of the fabric is the opposite uh, of the right side. You can usually spot the wrong side because the weave may be visible and it may be lacking a pattern or design or if it is a printed fabric, uh, the wrong side uh, print is uh, lesser than, um, lesser than, um, not much vibrant. So we can easily uh, recognize the wrong side of the fabric and the right side of the fabric. You. A yoke is a shaped pattern piece of which forms part of garment, usually fitting around the neck, shoulders or hips to provide support to looser parts of the garment such as gathered skirt or the body of a shirt. So this is the basic terminology for pattern making. Hope you understand what is the um, terminology, the words of uh, which we used uh, in pattern making. If you have any doubt, you can comment me on our comment box. I will surely define you all the uh, your queries in our live session. Thank you. Namaste. Kushro Vidya.